Hey guys, Connor here with Chrome Designs, and thank you for watching this video. Now, today I'm going to show you how you can create a desktop background uh, so it looks similar to what I have got here. Now, it's kind of different multicolored with the text in the middle. Don't need to explain it because you can kind of see it on the screen, I should hope. Anyway, let's start. You want to go to File New. And you want to use what your computer supports. For example, mine uses 1280 by 720. That's my screen resolution. And click OK. And then you want to go to the foreground color down here. And down here, you want to type in 33 three, and then 22222. Two, 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 two. So two 3s and the rest are 2s. And it should leave you with a darkish brown like this. And then if you go to the paint bucket tool, click and hold paint bucket, just fill it in. Then once you've got that, you want to create some text. So you just hit T on the uh, keyboard. Make the foreground color to white. Text to white anyway. And then if I type Connor, I'm using Bank Gothic, and I'm using it 200 PT. I'm just going to drag it roughly to the middle here. There we go. Okay, I should do. And then you want to make a new layer. And you want to make sure you've got swatches selected up here. Click the arrow if it's not. I'm going to go to 90% grey. Yes, that one just there. And just fill that in the background. So go to the paint book tool again and fill it in. And it should overlay with that grey. Gray. Then you want to basically add a lens flare. So go to filter, render, and lens flare. And the brightness set to 125. Make sure it's on... 50 to 300 millimeter zoom and click OK. Now you see you've got the Connor layer under it, and uh, so what we're going to do is you want to make that lens flare basically merge into the text. So this can be done by going on the top layer, the lens flare, right clicking and go to create clipping mask. And as you'll see, it'll overlay onto the text, and I can also drag it about. But I'm going to center it up there so it's not all grey. Or white, that'd be that'd be look pretty poor. Anyway, there we've got the basic text, and I want to give it a sort of 3D feel. So I'll go on the text layer, right click blending options, and go to drop shadow. Drag it out of the way here. Drop shadow, make sure it's on multiply, opacity 75%. And then have the distance to 2. And then have the size to 8. And in fact, I'll change the um <clears throat> Sorry about that. I'll change the angle to 90 degrees. That's looking good. That okay. Then I'm gonna go to bevel and emboss. Make sure it's on inner bevel, smooth up, and you can just lower the size. So we should lower the size to two. Lower the size to two, maybe even one. Nah, two. Um, angle change. Now leave the angle as it is. Altitude set to 65, yeah, and that's looking quite good for some subtle, give a little bit of depth towards the text anyway. And now what you want to do is you can you can maybe get that background that you've seen at the beginning where it's all different colours. Now this is done practically by doing the same way as we did the text. So on that bottom layer, layer 1, go to filter, render and lens flare again. Uh, so the brightness to 100 and the same 50 300 millimeter zoom, okay. And to make it, you just want to add a blur, blur Gaussian blur, and you want to set the radius to about 40, maybe even 45. There you go, and that is looking quite good. And now maybe what you could do is you can you can maybe make the text have some shadows, so there's like some lights coming shining on the text. So go on to your text layer and hit Control J, and that duplicates the layer. Go to the bottom layer, go to Edit, Transform, and Scale. And if you maybe just drag it down to begin with, just slightly subtle because you'll blur it out at the end. Okay, the tick. Now, right-click Blending Options again, and go to Color Overlay. And just set the color to black. Now, if you go to filter and add a radial blur, blur radial blur, 
Uh, it allows you to rasterize the type. Yep. Make sure the blur's on zoom, and you want to make it on best, and the amount about three, and click OK. And then it'll just give it a subtle fill. Then go to filter blur, kind of Gaussian blur again, and you can maybe just lower it down to what that, about that. Okay. And you can maybe go to the opacity, lower down the opacity so it's maybe not as harsh. 75 seems to do the job. Then on that shadow layer, you want to duplicate it again. So hit Control J. And if you just hit up on the keyboard, make sure you've got the Move tool selected there. And hit up. And you'll see it will start to appear up. And then lower it down just a little bit. Go to Filter, Blur. And add another Gaussian Blur. Uh, maybe just increase the radius something about like that and that is about it uh, you see that's some quite good text there looks quite cool with the background it's kind of simple if you think about it but quite quite effective in my opinion anyway hope this helped you out maybe you can use it in any any sort of background I suppose YouTube, Twitter, desktop, down to you. Anyway, that's it about from me, guys. Thanks for watching this video. Please remember to comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you guys soon. Bye.